All right, hello everybody. My name is The Last Hodler, and as you probably know from one of my previous videos, I am one of the lead blockchain developers at the UK's leading blockchain company called Online Blockchain. And this is gonna be the third, third video in a series where I teach you how to build a cryptocurrency application from, start, uh, from scratch, powered by a cryptocurrency called Brazio, which is super similar to Bitcoin. So this should translate super easily into Bitcoin. All the RPC commands are the same. All the code will be the same. Um, so that's why I chose Brazio for this series. Okay, so as you can see, I've already opened my virtual box and we have our website here that we created in one of the previous tutorials. And I've also got the uh, build notes for the Bitcoin source code, which are exactly the same as the Brazio source, uh, sorry, the Brazio build notes. Um, so we're gonna be cloning uh, the Brazio core from the official Brazio repository, building it from source, and then we will have the uh, software required to run a Brazio full node, and that's what our cryptocurrency application um, is going to use um, to communicate with the Brazio network, and we'll be able to do, um, you know, send coins, we'll be able to see our balance, and things like that, okay? so. That's why we're gonna be installing Brazio from source. So what you need to do is you need to open the uh, Bitcoin Unix build notes and I'll leave a link to those in the description so that you can just copy paste everything. And I'm not gonna be going into great detail in this tutorial on what each of the commands you'll need to run um, to build all this stuff from source. I have another video on that, so I'll link um, to that, I'll put that somewhere on the screen right now. And if you're really interested in learning kind of like what each command to build this stuff does, um, you'll wanna watch that video. But for, for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna be kind of whipping right through it, okay? So now that we've got the build notes open, we're gonna to want to open a terminal. So to do so, you'll click Control, Alt, and T. Okay, so now we have a terminal. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cloning the official Brazio repository into my um, web server, into my virtual box, virtual web server, okay? And then I'm gonna be building um, Brazio core from source from there. So the first thing to do will be to type git clone https github.com slash oski. Okay, that's my GitHub repository slash Brazio. And that's gonna download all of the Brazio source code. And once we've got that, we're gonna start building Brazio core from, uh, from source. All right, now that we have cloned the Brazio repository, we can start building the source code. Okay, so I've got the Unix build notes up here. Let's just start whacking them in. Okay, so we're using Ubuntu. And so now we can just start copy pasting these commands. Now I've already installed um, all of the dependencies that I need because I've done like a, pra a practice run on this. Um, so it's not gonna take me very much time at all to go through these commands, but they might take a little bit of time um, to download, especially if you're on slow internet. So just be mindful of that. This command, for some reason, I'm not 100% sure why, on some um, Ubuntu, um, on some, uh, well, on some web servers and on, on, on my practice runs, um, this command hasn't always worked for some reason. Um, but I have a better command, which is sudo apt get install libboost all dev, like that. And that always that always works. I've never had any problems with that. So you might want to replace this second command with libboost all dev. And what that does is it just uh, installs all of the dependencies in here and a few more. So some people have been coming up with that error, and it's all over the internet. So it could be better to just use all dev. Okay, the next one is mini UPN PC. And that's universal plug and play. And the next one is the ZMQ dependencies. And okay, so the next one that's saying to install is the QT software, which is the graphical user interface. We don't care about that one because we're running a full node and uh, we're not going to be using the wallet um, like a normal wallet, we, we're, we're setting up a web server um, which is gonna handle all that stuff with code. So we're not gonna be needing a graphical user interface. So we're not gonna be installing this one. Well, actually you might wanna install this one anyway. Let's just install this one anyway, just in case we wanna use it as a graphical interface in the future. I'm not sure if we will. Um, so you might not need this one, but if you wanna have a graphical user interface, just install that one. Okay, and then we're gonna install the QR code library because that comes with the QT.
Okay, so that is all of the dependencies installed. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to say sudo sh auto gen. Actually, no, we don't. What we want to do is we want to go into the Brazio folder now, and then we can start running commands to build it from source. So the first thing to do will be to say cd and just Brazio. Okay, so if we uh, type ls and list what's in this folder, we can see that we've got um, the browser folder exists and we have all of our code inside of it, all right? So the next thing um, that we need to run is sudo sh autogen.sh. And what that is, is a file that will set up, um, it, it creates a bunch of new files, which are like the configuration of um, compilation on our system, okay? It's, it's gonna look at what our system has and it's gonna say, okay, going through a checklist, this is how we're gonna compile for this system. So that's autogen.sh. Okay, and now that it has done that, we have one more command to write before we can start actually compiling the source code. So the next command is sudo dot slash configure. All right, now finally, we can actually start compiling our source code. So to do that, we type sudo make install. Okay, and this could take some time now. Um, depending on the specs of your system, um, it could take like an hour or so. So, you know, go get a cup of tea and come back to it. And uh, when it's done, we'll get on to the next stage. All right, now that we've finished compiling Brazio from source, um, we can actually have, let, let, me, let me show you what we've actually built here. Okay, so we've built something called Brazio QT. Brazio QT. Okay, and that's the, um, that's the wallet with the user interface, okay? If you run Brazio QT, you're turning your computer into a full node, and then you have that wallet functionality in the graphical user interface, okay? We also installed Brazio D, which is, uh, a, it's like the Brazio daemon, okay? So it doesn't provide a graphical user interface, but it does provide all of the functionality um, that a um, full node would need to interact with the Brazio blockchain. So the Bitcoin version of that would be Bitcoin D, okay? And we've installed one more thing, and that's Brazio CLI, which stands for the command line interface, okay? So what the command line interface does is it talks to Brazio D, uh, sends it commands, and tells it what to do, okay? So the first thing you would do after we've um, installed, compiled and installed this software is you would run Brazio D, okay? So now that you're running Brazio D, your um, Ubuntu box, your virtual box, is now a Brazio full node, and it's uh, now downloading the blockchain onto your machine. Okay, but we can actually interact with Brazio D if we open up another terminal, and then we type in Brazio CLI, CLI command line interface, and then some command um, that will give us an answer. Okay, so something like get balance or get new address or anything like that. But before we start diving into all of the different things that we can do with um, the Brazio daemon, um, I just want to show you one file, which is the configuration file for our web server, um, as far as Brazio is concerned. So our Brazio conf file um, for how our web server um, will act as a full node. Okay, so let's open that file, cd tilde Brazio, okay, because that's a folder in our home directory where all of our Brazio stuff is, okay? And inside this file, if I type ls, okay, that's listing everything. Inside this file, you'll see we have like a few different folders and files, okay? So brazio.conf is the one that we're going to be looking at right now. So let's open that in Sublime. Subbrazio.conf. Okay, so you can see that I've already put in some values here, but I'm just going to explain um, individually what each of these um, each of these parameters in this file actually is. So the first one is daemon equals one, okay, and that starts Brazio D in the background, and so then after that you can close your terminal, um, and it's basically just going to be running all the functionality to be talking, for the full node, which is our web server, to be talking to the uh, Brazio network, okay. The second one is server equals one. And what server equals one does is it tells the daemon to accept RC, RPC commands as JSON, okay? So what JSON is, is a way that uh, computers can talk to themselves, uh, talk to each other, I should say, in like a standardized format, okay? And 
serve equals one allows us to use JSON, which is that standard format, to send RPC calls between uh, Brazio CLI, the command line interface. So you're going to be doing that typing, but in this case, the web server is going to be using the command line interface when we plug it into our web server. Um, but it's basically like allowing the CLI to talk to Brazio D. Okay. The next one on the list is listen equals one. Okay. And what that is going to do is it's going to connect to, to the Brazio network, listen for incoming connections so that it can update the blockchain and kind of stay up to date on the network and act correctly as a full node, right? So that's listen equals one. We're, we're listening for incoming connections, okay? The next one is just the user of the daemon, right? That's me, the last hodler. Uh, a password for that user, which port we're going to be accepting RPC calls on, right? So that I've, I've set that port to 22785. You can use that port if you like, or you can choose some other port if you're sure that that isn't being used for anything else. But 22785 will look just fine for me. And RPC allow IP is which IP addresses are we going to allow to send us RPC commands, okay? Because as a um, full node with cryptocurrency on it, on the network, we don't just want anybody to send RPC commands to our daemon. We want to secure it, I guess you would say, a little bit more and only allow um, 127.0.0.1 to do um, RPC commands because that's like the local machine, right? That's just us, nobody outside of us. So that's why RPC allow IP is 127.0.0.1. So that's all of the configuration stuff that you need to do to set up your full node um, on the web server. Um, and now we can actually have a look at some of the commands that we're going to be using to um, transact um, at, well, run our web application, our cryptocurrency web application. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, I've already done it. We're, we're going to start Brazio D, so we've already done that. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run a command called get balance, and that is going to tell us what our balance is for our wallet, okay? So you would type Brazio CLI get balance. And as you can see, it says our balance is 0, 0.00000, right? Because we've never actually um, put any cryptocurrency into this wallet. We've never mined on this wallet. So our default balance is obviously going to be 0. 0.0000, which leads me to the next um, command that we're going to run, which is, let's do it, Brazio CLI get new address. Okay, so what that's done is it's given us a brand new receive address that we can send coins to um, and then our uh, cryptocurrency daemon will have a notion of how much of a balance we have, right? Because it's a full node and it is connected to the network. So we've effectively just created ourselves a wallet through Brazio D. We've got the balance for the wallet and we've got um, an address that we can send cryptocurrency to. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave this tutorial here. In the next one, I'm going to be plugging these CLA, CLI commands into the website so that when you load the website, it's going to run a few different things and it's going to give you um, your, your balance in the wallet and it's going to give you your uh, receive address. Um, and then if we have time in the next video as well, I'll also be implementing, uh, showing you how to implement the send Brazio feature. So we'll have a full wallet in the web application. Um, but as always, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so that I can teach you everything there is to know about Bitcoin and making altcoins and forking altcoins and making cryptocurrency applications. Anything you need to know about cryptocurrency, it's going to be on this channel. And make sure you comment in the comment section if you have any questions or if you want a video out of me about any particular uh, blockchain or cryptocurrency topic. Uh, and I'll make sure I do that for you as well. And as always, remember to hodl for as long as possible.